dated 27th of June 2018, with 20 pounds to read. The first statement of the press is terrorism, contrary to section 7, subsection 1, 2, clause B of the Terrorism Act 2002. And the particulars are that Kabangwe Ali Alayas, Munya Kenya, Musa, Salim Ali, all those names that we are read early, and others still at large, between 2011 and 2015, in the districts of Mayuge, Namayingo, Bugiri, Iganga, Jinja, Mbale, Budaka, Wakiso, Tororo, Moroto, and Kampala, with intent to intimidate the public, or a section of the public, and for political, religious, social, or economic aid, indiscriminately and without due regard to the safety of others or property, directly involved themselves or were complicit in the murder of Sheikh Daktur Abdukadi Muwaya, Sheikh Yunis Abubakari, Madame Tito Okware, LC3 Chairman, number 44957, CPL Owari Julius, Wari John Stephen, Obura Joseph, number 54812, NPC, Babale, Muzamil, and number 1404, SPC, Tenua Karim, who are members in public and private institutions. Alternative count one, the statement of the offense is murder contrary to section 188 and 189 of the Penal Code Act, and the particulars are that all the above accused persons and others still at life on the 25th of December 2014 at Kavule LC1, Mauda Town Council in Mayuge District, murdered Sheikh Daktur Abdul Kadi Muwaya. And then alternative count two, the statement is also murder contract section 188, 188, 189. And I am going to break it down by reading the persons that are alleged to have been murdered and not going through the whole vision and then come to the name. So the alternative count two is the alleged murder of Tito Okware. And then the alternative count two is also alleged murder of number 54812PC Gabale Muzaminu and then four of number one, four zero four SPC Tenua Karim, and then five is number four four nine five seven CPA or Warren Julius, and then alternative count six is also in respect of the alleged murder of Owari John Stephen. Alternative count seven is in respect of the alleged murder of Obura Joseph. <coughs> Alternative count eight is in respect of the alleged murder of Sheikh Yunus Abubakari Madangu. And then count two. Count two, the statement of the offense is terrorism, contrary to section seven, subsection one, clause B, and subsection two, clause J, of the Anti-Terrorism Act. And they are in respect of the following accused persons, Kalangwe Ali, Salim Ali Yahaya Sharif, Musa Uhuku Donchu, Narangi Alayas Bado, Adam D. Bashir Alayas Wabula, Sheikh Wasiku Bashir Ahmad, number 45581, CPN, Engwao Martin Alex, number RA113471, Sergeant Owori John Alayas Tanga, Sheikh Wanjala, Badiru Ibrahim, Chimbukwe, Abdul Swabul, Alias Musa Muse, and others still at large. On the third day of July 2014, at Kikuza Village in the Mugiri district, robbed one match of TV of his mobile phone and unspecified amount of money, 
and at or immediately before or immediately after the time of the said robbery used a deadly weapon to wit a gun from the said match of Stephen. Count 13, is also aggravated robbery contrary to section 285 to 86 2. And the following act is persons covered with Ali, Salim Ali, a higher section 285 to 286, <coughs> subsection 2. And those are the same accused persons as reflected on count 14. And it is an other still at large, it is alleged that on the 26th of September 2013 at the village in the Mugiri district, the same accused persons robbed Betty Mudondo of a mobile phone and at or immediately before or immediately after the time of the said robbery used a deadly weapon with a gun on the said Mudondo Betty. And then on count 16, those are the same accused persons and others still at large. It's alleged that on the 8th of July 2014 at Juan Lozon, Mayuget Town Council in the Mayuge district. They say the accused persons attempted to cause the death of their car we are seen. Count 17. Count 17, it is attempted murder contrary to section 204A of the Federal Court Act. And the accused persons are these ones. <coughs> Kabangwe Ali, Salim Ali, Yahaya Sharif, Musa Muku Donchu, Nabangi Alias Bando, Adam D. Bashiri Alias, the North Words, that is the Kibla. Here enough I refer to as the former faction, as opposed to those who prayed facing the South. Here, after referred to as the latter faction. That S6, that is number 45581, Corporal Emma Martin Alex, a police <coughs> officer attached to Tororo Police Station, and S7, that is number RA1134771, <coughs> Sergeant Owal John Elias Tanga, a UPDF soldier were among those recruited. That S6, that is Corporal Enwau, who was deployed to guard the IDG's offices in Tororo, would release gun AK number 47, serial number 56131006417, in bracket 09505, in brackets, the last gun, to S7, that is number RA, 113471 Sergeant Over John Alias Tala to use in the most attacks, I beg your pardon, to use in most attacks. That the attacks started with the murder of Sheikh Yunus Abu Bakari Mudangu on the 18th of August 2012 at Bolezon in Bugiri district. Those who preferred the latter ideology. For example, A24, that is Rashid Kalange, Yusuf Musawiyah Abdu, Sheikh Swalakuddin, Baligea, and others were evicted from the mosque at Bolezon, but were allowed to return after appearing contrite. But in fact, had a mission of vengeance. The Muzaffaru Kaule, I beg your pardon, that Muzaffar Kaole allowed into the mosque those in the latter faction, which resulted in two chaos in the mosque. And A24 issued a warning that there would be fire among the believers. At that point, Musawul Zaid was still identifying Dinus Abu Bakari, Madangu, here in referred to as the deceased, two A3, that is Musa Muku, don't you? As their imam who was going to lead prayers and insisted that S3 should identify him properly. That on the 18th of August 2012, Sheikh Kaule Muzaffaru led in prayers because 
the deceased arrived late. In addition, appointed another person to leave it prayers the next day for the deceased. That is Yunus Abu Bakari, Madame. The registrar ICD was ordered to arrange for legal representation of all non-representative persons by the same date. Prosecution and victims' counsel were directed to contact their victims and witnesses by the 18th of May 2015 with an order that disclosure be completed and closed by the next adjourned date of 28th of May 2018. On the 28th of May 2018, prosecution drew court's attention to Rule 6 sub Rule 2 of the Judicature High Court International Crimes Division Rules 2016, that is ICD rules, that is the court citation, and reported that some of these persons had not been properly committed to the High Court, which impeded the progress of discovery. The court directed the prosecution to avail the charge in its present form and then turn over all documents that were not included in the delayed disclosure by 31st of May 2018. Likewise, the defense was directed to streamline the issue of legal representation with a clear notice to the registrar showing counsel instructed and prepared to represent each individual accused person to be filed by 29th of May 2020. Victims' counsel were also allowed to file any applications seeking their client's protection <coughs> with a directive to the prosecution to file a response by the 7th of June 2018 and any rejoinder to be filed by the 8th of June 2018. The prosecution filed an amended indictment on the 27th of June 2018 in which some offenses were dropped. In the same way, proceedings against Wanda Bashir were discontinued by the prosecution. In addition, two accused persons were added to the amended indictment, and these two accused persons were Masereka Joseph Muzafaru Sar, Adam D. Mwosa. Three accused persons were also dropped for the reason that the proceedings against them were discontinued by the director of public prosecutions pending their arrest and committal the High Court. And these were Sheikh Waludin Valdia, Agrek Yinji, Kaule Muzafar. On the 3rd of August 2018, a fresh amended indictment was filed, followed by a case synopsis of 14 August 2018. The prosecution evidence is compiled in 17 volumes. And there also you will see a list attached there too, and it is marked Appendix B. Much of the prosecution evidence is in the form of witness statements, in line with Rules 7 and 36 of the Judicature High Court International Crimes Division Rules of 2016. Applications were filed by both prosecution and victims' counsel for identities of witnesses to be protected. The list of all the witness statements to be relied on is attached as Appendix C, Admission of Evidence. With regard to any waiver of objection,